Hello, welcome to Sports Center. Alongside me is my guest Chris Nguyen from Sports Science, who will help analyze the physics behind last night's rugby match between New Zealand and Ireland. Well, I must say, Cormac, that this game was full of great examples of physics, and I can't be more excited to be on this show. Great, Chris. Now let's start off with the first play. Now that's just a good kick. I must agree. That is a very good drop kick that goes the perfect distance in 11 yards and has a relatively good hang time of about 3.5 seconds. Through my calculations, he kicked it at approximately a 65 degree angle, thus giving it more Y velocity than X velocity. All of this makes it a 50-50 ball. Our second highlight today was his tackle. Connor Murray was just slammed on his play. Well, at first, this 207 pound frame was doing well against the 476 pound wall because of his inertia, but then their force simply overpowered his. This is a great example of Newton's first law. With the tacklers applying the external force on the object in motion, Newton's second law and Newton's third law with the opposite forces that counteracts Murray and ultimately forces him to the ground. Now look at the speed of this ball. Well, I calculated that the ball was going about 41 miles per hour, which is much higher than the average speed of 31 miles per hour. I calcul calculated this by estimating the time and distance and then using the Pythagorean theorem and the equation velocity equals distance over time. Good things there are grip on those balls. Now look at the power of the All Blacks on this play. This is why they're ranked number one in the world. The Ireland player weighs about 205 pounds compared to the New Zealand player that weighs about 231 pounds. Even though O'Driscoll lowered his shoulder, he was no match of Savea's higher amount of force and inertia. An example of Newton's second law. Let's go to the second scoring play of the game, and it comes off Sexton's kick. And it was just a beautiful one to give the Irish three points and bring them back to a tie. Contrary to the drop kick earlier, the kicker wants this ball to go far, and he kicks it at a perfect 45 degree angle to give it the same X velocity and Y velocity to kick that 41 yard penalty kick through the uprights. Now I must bring up this other great hit by number 11, Sevilla. It's just been all over the place today. Hey Chris, look, there's another great example of your high Y velocity physics test. Oh snap, you just got rocked! Well, this is just shh, another... Shh, shh. Give me a minute. What's the ball taking in? Oh, I'm done. I gotta go walk this one off. All right. Well, while you do that, I'll explain this hit. Clearly, no one can match the power that Sevilla has been delivering today. Kearney's 209-pound frame on this play was delivering a force of approximately 87.5 newtons, calculated using the equation force equals mass times acceleration, and he was moving at a constant velocity of, a, of about nine miles per hour, which I calculated this again through the formula velocity equals distance over time. Also, I must mention that this is another great example of Newton's third law. Okay, I'm back. But I think you should also mention the fact that he also tackles him low, which knocks him off his center of gravity, and also the fact that his cleats play a big role. Very good, Cormac. I knew you would learn something from sports science one day, but you're right. The cleats do play an important role and are generating a mu of 14.77 after I calculated the mass of the shoe and the friction. Here's our final highlight, and it's just a great Irish offensive play to make sure the All Blacks don't get more separation in terms of the score. I'm just in awe on this play, and this via Simon Debo throwing down the field and made that great play. Look how far he slides. Boy, he must have been going fast. Well, you're right. He is like the Hussein Bolt of rugby. He was going 18 miles per hour on this play, much higher than the 13 miles per average for a player of his position. Well, that's all we have today from Sports Center. Cormac Brennan and Chris Ingen signing off.
Well, the challenge has been received by the...